Good evening, friends. I'm just going to let everybody get in here, and then we will get started. Hello, Andrea. Hello, ladies. I'm really glad that you guys can join me this evening. Um, again, I'm just letting everyone get loaded in. And I do apologize for any sniffling or coughing as I do have the flu. <laughs> We're just going to give it another minute or so. So if you want to grab a drink or anything before we get going, um, feel free to do so if you won't miss anything. Hello, welcome to our live stream. This is the first one we've done in quite some time. So we're just giving you guys a couple of minutes just to get settled, get a drink if you need one, um, while we wait for everyone to get in here. I am gonna go pull from your questions. We have several that we were asked within the group as well as on uh, Instagram as well as YouTube so all right I think it's a good time for us to go ahead and get started my name is Rachel I know you guys can't see me <laughs> but uh, I am uh, the lady that kind of, I guess, put this all together. Um, to kind of give you a backstory, if you are not familiar with how this came about, it's been going on two years, almost three, I believe, um, for when this concept, um, some of you caught the concept on my Instagram profile way back when, and I had shared a planner that I had set up, which is actually this one, and showed you guys how I took the co took a couple different concepts and turned it into something that was going to work for me. I still have this binder set up how it originally was when I started. Um, my war binder has evolved over time because life has gotten, excuse me, <clears throat> chaotic, um, as I'm sure it has for many of us. So just to kind of flip through, you've probably seen this in YouTube videos or on Instagram. Um, I share it quite a bit. Um, this was just a little tip in that I made to be able to distinguish the difference between Satan's voice and God's voice. And I just have my different sections um, put in. And I've transferred some of this stuff to my binder that I'm using now. So, and I made some things back then. And I'll go through the sections that I keep. Um, it was kind of crazy at first because I wanted to put every single thing in here. Um, so I think the best place for me to start really without um, going through too much, I'm going to show you what I use right now and then we'll get to your questions. Hey ladies. So with the way everything is I used this for a while. It's just another example I'm going to show and tell you guys about. Sorry if I can't see that. There you go. Um, this was just a canvas cover. So 
so getting sidetracked. My current setup is a traveler's notebook. Um, I actually bought this, it's a Foxy Fix. I bought it used off of, I think, Instagram. <laughs> it had someone's name on it, and I guess the person that had it before me actually tried to scrape it off, but it's okay. I love the imperfections, because uh, this is the nitty gritty for me. So, like anyone else, I kind of keep some quick grab stickers up front, you know, just the easy stuff. Uh, and then I kind of have it broke up by notebooks. Now this size is uh, B6. Um, it's fairly popular. Um, if you don't know what a traveler's notebook is, I highly recommend uh, like looking at the hashtags on Instagram. There are many, many suppliers, uh, many handmade shops that uh, there's so many great ones. This one just happens to be a Foxy Fix. Um, so the basis is that it's loaded mini notebooks on an elastic system. Sorry, you can see that there. Um, so the way that I keep it, it's, this is very simple, absolutely simple. <laughs> um, this first one, I just actually swapped this out for February. This is where I keep everything jotted down if I need to remember something as far as sermons are concerned. Um, Anything and everything. It's like a brain dump, pretty much, for all things faith. You know, if I think of someone I wanted to pray for. Um, I just got some, you know, different things just to kind of spice it up a little bit. These little journals, if you haven't seen them, they're from Walmart. I think they're $1.88. And this was the last chance I had to do a scripture plan scripture writing plan so this insert is that and of course I had to do it in rainbows um, Lime Life Planners has these things so that you can kind of stuff stuff in them stuff stuff <laughs> um, hey Ted hey Maria um, yeah you can just kind of stuff people you know use them all different ways I love the top loading ones so that I can just you know like when you're at church and you want to just throw in, you know, like your um, bulletin or whatever, you know, that's really easily. Um, a, a dashboard is whatever you want to make it. <laughs> it could um, be something like this that you slide in. It's just pretty. Um, again, you can throw stuff in there like I have done. Uh, this is acetate. You can get that at most most craft stores. Um, you can, and I see that there's a lot of questions coming in, so I don't want you guys to think that I'm disregarding those by any means. I'm going to get to any that uh, haven't been answered already at the end of this. Um, the acetate, what I found, you can order it for, from some pretty awesome shops, but you can also uh, buy a pack of vel printable vellum off of Amazon, and then you can buy digital papers, and it's really cost effective that way. Um, so this is where I keep all my devotional stuff. Um, I recently redid, I don't know if Liz is on here, but this is kind of her thing. Uh, in the bullet journal community, they do a level 10 life, and she interpreted it for us uh, to uh, level 10 fruit. So this is kind of like areas I want to work on. This is I'm going to hold it up because I'm not ready to zoom in yet, but this is kind of like where my grading scale where I think I'm at. So anything like that I kind of keep in here. Uh, bullet journal -y, sort of. Some more acetate. Um, these are my, so my prayers, as I've said before, um, I do at times struggle with praying out loud. I prefer to write them. So this is just actually in here. And now this is, um, so in here I keep this notebook 
I'm actually writing letters to our little guy that we are adopting. So I do that in here. Just some pins, another dashboard. Um, and this is some more prayers and praise reports. So that's what I'm using. Honestly, I'm going to be very, very transparent here to say I don't actually take this with me when I leave the house. I know it seems crazy, but when I leave the house, if you guys saw my purse, you would probably understand. <laughs> it's very minimal, and I have had it for uh, seven years, and I just switched it out to a purse that bought me three years ago. Um, <laughs> so it, what I'm getting at is I need it simple, and I know that I've seen a lot of you talk about that. So I'm going to, this is what I use at home. Um, this, you know, it works well for me at home. It's cute. I can make it whatever I want. So this is where my bullet journal has come in. This has been a lifesaver for me because more, more often than not, I've had to really simplify this for, you know, if we're traveling or if we have court for the, we're going through an adoption. Sorry, I should mention that first. Um, so there's a lot of meetings and stuff that we have in town as well as out of town. So it gets chaotic. So I know that some of your lives are chaotic too. Um, so this is a great way to kind of condense what you need. Um, you know, and it's a nice addition to having a war binder that you keep at home. So, uh, if you're wanting to know what a bullet journal is, I will tell you that mine is not typical. <laughs> I have made this my own so that it works for me. So I don't have an index. I started an index actually when I got this journal in 2016. I have never used this. Um, what I was understanding about a bullet journal, the most important thing is to ensure that I guess be okay maybe that's a better word um, with mistakes allow yourself to make them and move on so that's what I did um, you're gonna see a lot of writing in here because I don't like blank pages these are in the back of course but I did mess up some so what I've done is in between my entries I journal. So there's another, you guys have probably seen this one. There's another one. And I feel like this especially, these type of entries are so important to have with me when I leave my house. I need to be able to look at this because it's rough out there some days. Let's just be honest. It's really rough out there sometimes. And this is very simple just to pull out of your purse and, you know, refer your bag if you're a guy. Sorry, guys. Um, whatever you need to do, um, if you have it readily available. And then you can, you know, I journaled. And then this was my older level 10 fruit. Um, more journaling and that's quite a bit of journaling um, I've got some calendars in here if I needed to use a calendar just to keep everything straight for a week I would do that um, I have my sermons in here more journaling different kinds of I know that you guys have probably seen them, but when you're on um, Pinterest, there, these things will come up and say, you know, if you're feeling this way, refer to these scriptures. If you're feeling that way, refer to these. I wanted to keep that with me again because this is what I take outside my home. More journaling. <clears throat> Lots more journaling.
I even put our bucket list in here. This was a cute idea actually I found on Instagram. So this is what I'm using currently for when I read a book. So I kind of had to explain this because I'm really sorry. I think I confused some people. Um, but I've seen people use this side as a reference, as a gratitude journal, which is an awesome idea. Um, I have a different way that I keep track of my gratitude. It's in my other binder because I sit down before I go to bed. Um, so this is for when I read a book. So this, I've just recently started this book. A couple of us are reading it together. Rest Assured, A Recovery Plan for Weary Souls. And so if I see like a revelation or something that tugs at my heart or an aha moment, or in this case, a scripture, I write the scripture over here and then I just color the heart in with my little key over here. So this was just an a journal entry. So I guess, you know, your bullet journal can be whatever that you need it to be, but these are really handy to have on the go with you. So the third thing that I have that I'm using, um, I don't know if you guys are in the group, but Scribble Scripture is a group that we formed in addition to Warbinder. And we are handwriting the Bible together. Yes, so that was family-friendly movies, actually, that were in a innocent <laughs> uh, for Halloween. Someone saw that in there. Um, so Scribble Scripture, we're actually handwriting through the Bible from front to back. And it's taken quite some time. So I'm currently on chapter 39. Um, and so as you can see, I'm almost to page 100 within my notebook, which I'm using this brand. I'm sorry, I would say it out loud, but I would also butcher it. So. So if you'd like to come join us, do that so uh, you can join Warbinder Scripture Scripture over there. So maybe that will answer some of your questions, but this is basically, this is it. And everything stays at home, but the pink one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for typing that. All right, so I'm going to get to some of your questions. We're going to start on Instagram, on the Warbinder Instagram page. And it looks like our first question is from Sabrina. She's actually here. I did see her. And her question is, what sections do you use the most in your Warbinder? Me personally... I'm going to have to say, let me think about this, blessings, um, as in who I, random acts of kindness that I've been able to do, um, or who has blessed me, like little things, um, study, I do a lot of studying, um, going to have to say prayer. I pray very often, a few times a day. Um, so that's something that I handwrite, as I had mentioned before. Um, and probably the scripture writing. I am trying to get better at scripture writing as far as sticking to a monthly plan. Um, but I'll be very transparent in saying that I think I've only ever completed one maybe three or four times. 
And that's just being very honest. So hopefully that gives you an idea, Sabrina. Um, that's what I carry in my on the go as well as my at home. So we have a question from Chaotic Critic. Staying accountable is definitely an issue for me. What do you recommend so that it feels more natural versus a chore? I, I get it. Um, I do get that. And I think that it is definitely something that you have to dedicate. Um, make it part of your routine. So they say that it takes three weeks to make a new routine or to break a habit. So I just kind of stick to that. Um, life gets crazy sometimes where you may or may not be able to do it. And we just have to accept that. That doesn't mean that we failed. We just have to pick up and move on. The worst thing we can do is not pick it up again. So I guess I make that my goal that, you know, sadly, if I didn't get to, you know, write down the blessings or write my prayers out for the day or read my devotional, whatever the case may be, I make sure that that's the first thing I do the next day. And I spend a little extra time. The next question I have is how to start a war binder. What type of binder do I need? What goes all in it? And budget friendly, but something I will enjoy using. I'm going to recommend for this question a bullet journal. Definitely. That is. Now, again, these. So these are that name brand. And if you look in the comments of this video, you'll see one from our admin. Um, and she wrote it out for us. She's so kind. Alicia. And it's not focusing. I'm sorry. Um, but if you're wanting something like that, so the reason why I buy this notebook is because it has dot grid. Um, dot grid or grid is kind of like what I love. You can kind of see it. These are 20, well, probably 15 to $20 on Amazon. But Michael's has a $5 answer. So I've used these two. I'm actually using these to write the Bible. Um, they have them in all the rainbow of colors too. But I'll be very honest with you. It doesn't cost a lot of money. I think that's one thing that I really wanted to stress that I've always stressed from the beginning. This, you know, yeah, it's great if it's cute. It's great if it looks fancy. That leather smell that we know and love. But at the end of the day, it is what is inside. And I'm not talking about your pins or your washi tape or the different, you know, cute things that you have, or the kind of pens that, whatever. It, what matters is what's on the paper. That is what is most important about this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, I wanted a traveler's notebook that I could carry with me, or, you know, leave at home or whatever, and I got this on a buy sell. It wasn't a buy sell, <clears throat> excuse me, it wasn't a buy sell trade page. Um, it was on Instagram that someone was selling though. So I mean it was kind of well loved before I got it, but I got it for a very discounted price. So I am like the thriftiest <laughs> person. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> I love me a good deal. So um, there's a ladybug in my house. So if you see one flying around, that's why. 
All right. So yes, you don't need a lot of money to make one of these things. You could use a good old one subject notebook from the store. As long as you have a way to know using bookmarks or pieces of paper or project life cards, what use what you have. Don't go out and buy anything else unless if you haven't crafted or something before, then again, you might need like a one subject notebook or one of these nice little $5 ones that you can find at Michael's and you can use a coupon. So I'm going to move on to the next question that we have. And it looks like that's going to be here in the group. Bear with me here just a second. We have quite a few, so I'm gonna start working on these. So one of the questions, let's see. I'm looking for a planner to use in my war binder, prayer, prayer journal, etc. I would like one of the refillable kind with a zipper, smaller size. I can't find one that's not black. Does anyone use this type or have any idea where to find one? Refillable. I'm assuming that you're talking about like a planner that you can zip around. Um, maybe. Or maybe a notebook. So I'm not clear on this, so I'm just going to give you the information that I do know. One, if you're looking for a planner that kind, um, Michaels has zip around planners. Um, Michaels also has regular planners like this one. This is from Michaels, um, but they do have some that zip around the outside. Kate Spade has some at their outlets. Um, I know some have gotten them for a pretty hefty discount. Um, if you're talking about like a notebook that maybe you zip around, um, many have mentioned on your post answering your questions like Chris, uh, Christian bookstores and they are very right. The next question is, I'm trying to decorate my planner and want to know how to start a war binder. If you're wanting to know how to start a war binder, um, the actual setup process the best thing you can do is look in the pen post at the top of this group. And we have um, a link to, the to our blog that we have um, that's going to actually tell you all about getting started. Um, and again, all of those videos as well are posted on my YouTube. Um, someone asked if you anyone used a prayer app to list prayer requests to set alarms to remember to pray. Um, there are many prayer apps out there. Um, I use the first five app because I like to, when I get up in the morning, I like for the first five minutes to be super positive. And I'm going to be very honest in this. My husband uses the first five app as well. Um, it's what's worked for us. And it's really changed that first chaotic, what is usually chaotic, 15 minutes, into something that's a little slower. Okay. Someone said, I like binder style, but my binder is too small. If I get a bigger binder, it's going to be bulky. I think that you really have to see what works for you. Um, hopefully, I've been able to give you some ideas tonight of different ways that you can kind of break it up. Um, you know, especially if you're like writing a lot, um, that's something that you can carry on the go with you. Um, this is a great one. 
There's uh, someone saying maybe that they would like to know how to not get overwhelmed. It's very easy to do, and from personal experience, I can say the more you buy, it begins to take away your creativity um, and that whole use what you have becomes very difficult. Um, at one point prior to when we brought our boys home, um, we actually, I had, you know, I had a shop. I had a lot of stuff going on. It was in a lot of swaps and exchanges and it was just so overwhelming. I wasn't, you know, I couldn't sit and be creative because there was just so much. So I say use what you have only by your necessities. You know, if watercoloring is your thing, get that colored pencils, get those. Uh, but I don't think you need the best of everything or, you know, Crayola crayons work great in a Bible. So do Crayola colored pencils, um, rose art, fairly cheap. This is, you know, I can't stress this enough. It's really what's on the inside. So if you are spending your time on the outside, that's going to take away from the inside. And I really don't want that for anyone because I know it's so easy to get overwhelmed or discouraged in this process, trying to organize it just the way you want. Um, so I will suggest that if you are overwhelmed and you need a stopping point, go get just a one subject notebook. I'm sure you have one laying around of different sorts and just focus on using that for one week just until you can allow your mind to reset so it's not thinking about all the things that you do have, um, which is a blessing, absolutely. Uh, but, you know, in the comments, Pamela said having everything isn't everything. That is more than true. It just becomes clutter. And when there's clutter, you can't be creative. So... Um, let's see. The next comment is who uses a three ring binder? How many sections fit comfortably in a three ring binder? Uh, she's looking for guidance on getting started and more information on verse mapping. I am actually not too familiar with verse mapping, but we do have a, a couple of our admins that do know what it is. Um, but we also have some great resources on our Pinterest um and within the group too there are many ladies and gentlemen in this in the warbinder group that love to do verse mapping and are wonderful at it as far as the three ring binder is concerned i guess it's going to depend on how big that three ring binder is um in the setup video that i put on youtube i could have put several you know, we're talking 10 to 15 comfortably, probably. Um, but it wouldn't have worked in the long run. It would not have worked for me. We have another question asking, what tabs do you use and how do you keep the pages? Um, let's see. Do you keep the pages when you make your own cover? I'm not sure exactly, and I apologize, Brenda, I'm not sure exactly what your question is asking. Um, maybe you're looking for some repositional tabs. There is a tab punch that is a really great investment, um, but you can also make tabs out of folding washi tape, scotch tape, there are so many ways to make tabs. Just do what you got to do. Um, I wouldn't necessarily worry. I mean, you're going to change this probably 50 times before you are happy or that it's functional for you. And that's okay. Each of us are different. There's no right or wrong way to this. Does anyone use multiple binders slash planners? I'm trying to decide between using two binders. One is, that is three ring and I'll call a praise book for praise and prayer. Second would be a planner so that I'll have a calendar for planning faith, devotions, and plans. 
I think it's great for you to use whatever works for you. Again, there's no right or wrong way. Um, but if any of you do use more than one and would like to connect, her name is Karen, and she did post questions on our Q&A post in the Warbinder group. Uh, we have another question concerning how to put the Warbinder together. Um, just remember that pinned post. We have a complete how-to blog uh, that we put together. Um, what planners slash journal books are folks using other than the Happy Planner, Erin Condor, and Reflections or Frank and Covey? Um, there, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Um, if you're on Instagram, the best thing you can do is look at hashtags for planner community, journal community, uh, the hashtag for a war binder. Uh, you can find so much just looking at those hashtags. And I have a question from Terry. She's asking, what's the difference between a war binder and a prayer journal? Um, so the main difference that I would say is that the war binder is many concepts. Um, usually, you know, there I have pinned in our Pinterest folder. Um, that show exactly how to set up a prayer journal. Um, we have people, you know, different walks of life that call it different things. But I think what's unique about the war binder is this is like your place to go to war. This is your place to really hone in on scriptures. If you're out in public and you are just having the worst day or you're at work and you need to stop exactly where you are and open up your, I can't tell you guys how many times I've done this. I'm not speaking, I'm speaking from experience. So I have been sat in my car with these tears as fast as they could, running down my face, flipping through this thing just like I am now frantically because I don't, I took out my, <laughs> my paper clips. But just flipping through this, trying to find all of my different spots, this spot, telling me where I can refer if I'm, you know, I obviously, I'd be anxious in this situation. So I would pull out my Bible. This is the Bible that I carry with me when I go. This is my messy Bible, I call it. This is where I'm going to do my studies. And I will find all of it. And this is a great Bible if you're like me. I have a little trouble with comprehension. I'm going to admit that very publicly. I'm the one that has to read things three, four, five times until it soaks in. Um, you know, I can show you how to do many things, but learning something new is it takes a while. So this is the message, the remix version. Um, if somebody wants to type it in the comments. Um, and it's kind of a very watered down version just to help you understand. And it's kind of funny, not funny, but there was a, you know, they were talking about thieves at one point um, and they called them knuckleheads. <laughs> so it's kind of funny, but um, it gets the job done. If I am out, you know, I've got this for reference so that I can pull up anything, those are the movies that I was talking about, um, anything I need, I have it right here with me, on the go. So now I'm going to take a look back into some of these questions that we have in the chat, because um, I think I actually answered the question. that was on our YouTube. And it looks like I've been able to kind of go over and answer everything. Um, 
Do you guys have any questions for me? Yes. Study Bibles are absolutely amazing. Um, I have one on my wish list right now. Um, it's been on there for a few years because it's a little pricey, to be honest. But um, those, oh man, the more and more study Bibles that they're coming out with um, in recent times are amazing. Um, oh, in one section, um, I'm just going to show you. So different books, um, that's how I'm keeping track of them. It's just a new way just so it's not another page because things get lost really easily. This is the devotional that I'm doing. It's, I guess it's more like meditations, maybe the same thing. What I like about it, I showed um, quite some time ago, but it has your morning and then it has your evening. This book, more than any of the devotions that I have, helped me get into, um, I am so sorry, this flu has got me, <laughs> um, but it helps me get into a routine, so, you know, if I'm breaking that habit or routine, that's the book I'm going to go to. Thank you for not making me feel so alone in the comprehension. It's been such a struggle, but since I've been able to kind of slow down a little bit, I'm kind of learning different things. Yes, it's my favorite, Pam. It is my absolutely favorite devotional for the simple fact of the morning. Here, I'll put it in here. This is the one we're talking about. I love it. That is a really good, that's a really good idea, Jen. That's awesome. I've never thought of doing that. Um, Teresa, this is it. This is your AM and your PM. And there is the ladybug. Poor ladybug. <laughs> We're supposed to be good luck, so I guess I'm having really good luck right now. Yes, thank you for typing that out, Crystal. All right, so if there's no more questions, I just, you know, uh, from a personal note, I just want to thank everybody, you know, for coming onto the live feed tonight. I hope to do more of these. Um, I'm working. I guess I'm talking about learning because I'm learning something new right now. Um, I'm setting up a Twitch channel. I'm hoping that that will be a easier way, maybe, possibly, um, to teach different things, different concepts. Um, cause I know that we've talked about having a workshop, but I really and truly want it to be affordable for everybody. Um, so what better way than just to let you contribute what you can if you want. Um, and if you can't, that's, that's absolutely fine. It's not necessary. Um, I just want to share my heart with you guys. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to start sharing this year. Um, the biggest thing, I want to thank my admin team, who is absolutely amazing. I cannot say that enough. I'm going to cry if I think about it too much because they mean so much to me. Um, Jamie and I have been going through the adoption process. We're in year number two right now of actually having the child in our home. And we're hoping to finish that this year. But they have been so kind and so patient. Um, with me through this whole process. So <clears throat> I am very thankful to have the admin team that I do. Um, they are in the group. 
when I cannot be in there and they are helping and they it is a thankless job and I'm just so thankful for all of you on my team um, as far as everyone in the group once the adoption is done my, you get my full attention outside of you know the time that I'm spending at home with my family so I'm hoping that we can take this war binder stuff to the next level and really get you know an actual binder put together I guess I'm sorry my head is so clogged but um, I really want to get something I the biggest thing is I don't come from a place of a ton of money I don't I'm not trying to go to a place of a ton of money I want to be able to help you right where you are right now whether wherever you are on the financial spectrum um, I just I've needed that for my life and that's what I want you to have in yours and that is the real heart of where the war binder comes from all right well I'm not gonna get mushy <laughs> I'm gonna log off here though if you would like to, I actually just figured out that I can put a comment in here. Um, I am going to put the link to, that is the link to the, where I'll be doing everything Twitch wise. Um, whoops, I hit my camera stand. That's where I'm going to be putting tutorials, walkthroughs, you know, when I'm writing the Bible, that's where I'm going to be. If you guys want to come say hello or just hang out, um, I have it all set up and I'm going to be on there tonight. Um, I'm going to be sharing the ways that I relax um, because I am imperfect just like everyone else and I struggle with mental illness. And so I would like to share what's worked for me. Um, and one of those things is color therapy. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a, a wonderful week coming up. See you later. <laughs>